Right now, the skydiving community is in mourning after the death of an experienced skydiver and military instructor at Skydive to Land. Good afternoon. I'm Angela Taylor in for Meredith McDonough. I'm Jim Payne. 33 year old Jessica Edgington was killed after her parachute collided with another in midair late yesterday afternoon. The victim was well known in the skydiving industry and a frequent visitor to Skydive to Land. Watch News Claire Metz joins us live now with the latest. Claire? Yeah, and Jim, the victim, Ms. Edgington, was totally immersed in the sport of skydiving, competing on a team of expert canopy pilots promoting the sport, instructing civilians and members of the military. She was teaching soldiers out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky, yesterday when this mishap occurred. For those brave enough to do it, it must be thrilling, gliding through the sky, a bird's eye view of the world. Skydivers are typically talkative about the sport, usually quiet out of respect when someone is hurt or injured. Such is the case regarding the death of Jessica Edgington. These are pictures of the canopy pilot in action during her most recent competition in Spain. Yesterday, Edgington was sharing her wealth of knowledge with members of the military, instructing when there was a mid-air collision. We had um, we have a jumper down at the moment. Okay, and that's at 1600 Flight Line Boulevard, correct? Yep. Police have not said what altitude Edgington and her students were at, or whether it was a student soldier she collided with. That skydiver was not hurt, but the impact had a fatal outcome for the instructor. Did that shoot not open? Uh, it was a canopy collision. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, two parachutes uh, came at each other, hit each other. Off camera, some in the community said Edgington was a terrific person, a brilliant skydiver, and clearly renowned, popular. That's Edgington signing autographs after the competition in Spain. Skydive to Land released this statement today. We extend our condolences to Jessica's family and her colleagues. Everyone in our community is deeply saddened by her loss. Jessica was a frequent visitor to DeLand in her capacity as a military contract instructor. Skydive to Land has investigated in cooperation with officials from the city of DeLand and found nothing in its equipment or procedures that affected this incident. Now, according to police in DeLand, the investigation is still open, ongoing. The FAA was out here uh, last night and earlier today. However, the only part they have in an investigation of skydiving accidents is to examine the rigging of the person injured or worse. We're live in DeLand, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.